Y'all keep messing up, ladies. And once again, all I can say is, I told you so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I told you so. I told y'all, if y'all didn't change y'all ways, if y'all didn't get y'all acts together, if y'all didn't start treating these men with class, decency, and respect, that you're going to pay for it later. And here we are. A lot of the things that you ladies are now complaining about, not only did I warn you about, but you have created it. Congratulations. You played yourself. Y'all were so stuck up and so full of yourselves and so disrespectful and dismissive and neglectful to where now men don't even approach you. Men don't compliment you. Men don't ask you out on dates. Men don't pursue you. Men are not doing anything. Why? Because of what you have dished out to them for so long. It's sad out here, you all. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. We're going to get into it. <sighs> we are dealing with a new breed of men. And I cannot stress that enough. But the catch to it all and the irony to it all is this new breed of men have stemmed from what a lot of women have been doing. Since women are doing this, I am going to have to evolve, grow, elevate, blossom into a new and improved, better version of myself that is going to be able to combat what these women are doing, right? So since a lot of women are out here doing this, I have to become that. And now we have an issue, right, ladies? But again, men are only responding to your treatment again congratulations you played yourself and i told you so i told you this day would come oh why don't men approach us anymore why don't men take us out why don't men give us compliments oh i'll tell you like i've been telling you because you ma'am felt like you were too good to be approached you were disrespectful in your quote unquote let downs, right? When a man approached you respectfully, like, hey, can I get your number? Can I get to know you? Ugh, you're too short. Ugh, you're ugly. Ugh, I don't, you're too broke. Ugh, look at your clothes. Look at your shoes. Ugh, no, I'm this, I'm that. And so now men don't want to deal with that. And not only is it that, but it's also the false accusations, right? Oh, he's harassing me. He's actually doing this to me. And y'all know what we trying to say. We got to watch out for YouTube. But yeah, men are only responding to what you all have been dishing out. And now you can't handle it. You can't take it. And now you want to complain. You did it to yourself. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. And again, I hope y'all got time because there's so many different levels and layers to this conversation. Not only are we dealing with a new uh, time to where a lot of men are no longer pursuing women and approaching women, giving us compliments, taking us out because of our treatment of men, right? The disrespect that they are met with when it comes to that, but also... Men are not pursuing us because we're not up to their standard. And we're going to get into it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. PSA to all the fine men that I see out in public. Sir, if I look at you more than once, if I double back, if I give you that real, like, I'm bougie, bad bitch kind of look back, I'm just looking around for my friend kind of look, that means I want you to approach me. That means I'm 30 seconds away from walking up to you. I do not want you to get in your car, turn up your music, and, like, zoom off and try to be cool. No. I want you to eat my coochie from the back, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Whoa. That was a little much. Okay, but let's pause it for a second. She's like, look, fellas, I'm tired of y'all not 
taking heed to my choosing signals. If I'm giving you this bad and bougie energy and I'm giving you eye contact and I'm doing this and that and the third and you're still not taking the hint like, oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated by it. What I want you to do is chase me. What I want you to do is approach me. What I want you to do is eat it from the back. Like, hold on, that's a little bit much, but hold on, okay? Maybe we gonna just take that as her being extra and silly and, you know, being comical. But nonetheless... It's something that we have to peep game upon, okay? Now, we have a young lady out here that is frustrated with the fact of a man not, again, peeping game on the fact that, look, I want you, right? If I'm giving you this energy, I want you to approach me. But from my observation, ma'am, the energy and the quote unquote choosing signals that you are giving to these men out here that you want to approach you are not, I don't know, up to par, so to speak. You you said, ma'am, that if I'm giving you bad and bougie energy, I want you as a man to approach me. Why? Why would a man approach a woman that is giving him, uh, I'm stuck up, I'm too good, I know I'm the ish, and you better obey, you better come to me. That's not the type of energy that a man would, you know, be attracted to. Instead, ladies, okay, let me give y'all some game. Let me teach y'all the right way. Instead, ladies, if you want a man to approach you, don't come through with this bad and bougie. I am the prize. You better come to me because I'm looking at you energy. No. Instead, what you do is you give off a very warm and inviting energy to where maybe you smile at him. You know, maybe you do something that, that's a little bit flirtatious that lets him know that, oh, okay, she wants me. The issue is a lot of y'all are coming through like, yeah, I'm the ish. Yeah, I'm the prize. Yeah, I'm bad. And so I can have you in any minute I want. And who are you not to pull up on me? No. Y'all don't realize that just because you're cute doesn't mean that you are not repelling men away from you. I keep bringing up energy. That's because energy is real. Okay? Vibrations are real. And so what you are witnessing today and experiencing today, ladies, is the fact that your energy that you exude and that you give all to these men is that of, oh, okay, she thinks that she's too good to approach me. She thinks that she's too good to talk to me. She feels like she's too good to at least meet me halfway. Instead, what she wants to do is, again, give off this I am the prize energy and pretty much demand a man to chase her. Men are not doing that today. Okay? Could it have been, young lady, that maybe he found you to be attractive, but he didn't like, you know, your, I don't know, how can we say this? He didn't like your uh, approach as far as choosing up on him. I mean, you're trying to paint up this thing to where it's like, oh no, he did want me. It's just that he tried to go about it in a way to where he wanted to show off. Uh, it sounds like to me, ma'am, he got in his car and left because maybe he didn't want you. You know what I'm saying? Like, men can reject you too, ladies. A lot of y'all think because you're cute and you have a certain aesthetic or a certain complexion or whatever the case may be, hair texture, body shape, whatever, that men should just be falling to their knees and running and chasing up behind you. But again, if your energy is off and you are coming off across or coming across a, a certain type of way to where it's like, uh, I feel like she will be this type, you know, she'll be too much of a hassle, too much of a headache. She'll be, you know, the type that feels like I need to bow down to her and I got to cater to her all the time. Yeah. I'm just going to go. That could be what it was, man. Maybe he got in his car and skirted off, not because he was trying to show off for you, 
but because he was trying to get away from you. That is a thing. Rejection is a thing, ladies. And again, new breed of men to where they don't care how fine you are. They don't care that you're trying to give off this bad and bougie, high and mighty, stuck up energy. No, they will flee from that. They don't see that as something that is cute. So, yeah, you may want him to, you know, come over and, you know, taste it from the back. But maybe he doesn't see it that way. Maybe he's like, oh, no, yeah, she's cute, but liability. Yeah, she's cute, but headache. Yeah, she's cute, but no thanks. Let's Sir, take it back. If I look at you more than once, if I double back, I give you that real like I'm bougie, bad bitch kind of look back. I'm just looking around for my friend kind of look. That means I want you to approach me. How is a man supposed to know that? If I'm looking at you, you need to come over here. No, if I look at you more than once, you need to come over here. Like, this is very entitled energy. This is very conceited energy. Y'all think men don't pick up on that? They don't want that. Again, I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how many men want you. I don't care how many times you look at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, fix your, fix your demeanor. Fix your disposition. Fix your energy. And maybe then I will approach you. But this very entitled energy of, yeah, you 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 need to come over here to talk to me because if I've been looking at you, you need to obey. You need to go ahead and follow my orders. Pick up on what I'm putting down. Bring your ass over here real quick. No, absolutely not. This whole approach is just off, man. But y'all don't know no better. That real, like, I'm bougie, bad bitch kind of look back. I'm just looking around for my friend kind of look. That means I want you to approach me. That means I'm 30 seconds away from walking up to you. I do not want you to get in your car, turn up your music, and, like, zoom off and try to be cool. No. I want you to eat my coochie from the back, okay? Okay. Now come talk to me, please and thank you. I'm opening the front door. Well, don't you understand? I don't know why men don't understand this. Because your energy is that of a stuck-up you know, bad bougie, uh, I am the prize, a man needs to kiss my behind. Like, th that's why. Y'all been taught wrong so horribly. These females have been out here telling y'all, oh, a man needs to chase y'all and a man needs to go out of his way to do X, Y, and Z for you, even though he don't know you like that and a man needs to do this and he don't never do that. Like, like, come on. Like, even you said it, ma'am. You said, look, I'm 30 seconds away from approaching you. Do that. We got to drop our egos, man. Drop your ego. If you want a man and you feel like he's somebody that you would want to talk to, there's nothing wrong with, you know, saying hi. There's nothing wrong with giving him a wink or a wave. Like, do something. But all of this, no, if I'm giving you bad and bougie energy and I'm looking your way and I'm looking around like I'm looking for my friend, uh, come on, just just understand and read my mind and know that I want you to talk to me. No, be grown, grow up. Act with maturity. If you, if you like something, go after it. And again, I understand what we're taught. Oh, no, a, a woman should never, and a woman should never do that. And the woman, okay, and this is why a lot of y'all are not being pursued, not getting your husbands, not settling down, because your egos are in the way. Your ego is too big. Come on now. <laughs> Men are picking up on that, and they're like, uh, I don't want nothing to do with that type. Oh, it's men that you don't want to talk to you that are always fucking talking to you. Hmm. Well, sounds personal to me. Okay. Now that's one level of this conversation I want to get into, but it's another level and layer, right? And another level and layer is ladies, maybe just maybe, um, men are just not attracted to you like that. Okay. Men are not only, uh, refusing to approach us these days due to our antics, from the past as far as trying to ridicule them and shame them and humiliate them and being disrespectful and all of that, you know? And also what we just saw here, her giving off this, I am the prize energy, you need to bow down and chase me. But also ladies, some of us are just not it. Let's get into it. Y'all like the video. Like the video, share the video and subscribe. I know it can be harsh, but it's real talk. Somebody gotta be honest with y'all. 
In LA, men are aggressive. Here, you guys are very respectful, which I really love about here. But then you guys also are so respectful. You guys do not even reproach somebody. Where I'd be like, damn, Nessie, he fine over there. And I'm like, they're trying to make eye contact. Like, you're <laughs> Now, ma'am. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. Now, ma'am. You're out here talking about, you know, the men, they don't approach women. And the men, they don't know how to, once again, pick up on my choosing signals and all of that, right? But, ma'am. Okay. And I, and I mean, no disrespect. I'm just being honest. Men are also not approaching women because too many women are out here not physically up to par. So not only is it this instance to where men are like, okay, I don't know if she's going to be disrespectful if I approach her. I don't know if she's going to, you know, pin harassment on me if I approach her. You know, I don't really like her energy as far as her being this bad and bougie, suck up type of chick. I don't want to approach her. But also, eh, that's not what I'm looking for physically. Okay? A lot of us don't take care of ourselves. We don't configure that in. Instead, we lie to each other and we say, oh, no, we're all perfect and we're all beautiful and a man should just accept us for who we are. And, you know, a man should just chase us and bow down to us because, again, we are princesses and prizes. And yeah, but no, ma'am, no, ma'am. A huge element to the conversation that too many of us leave out for obvious reasons, maybe because we don't want to feel like you know, we're not where we should be or, you know, whatever the case. Maybe our ego won't allow us to admit that uh, I'm not it. But that's a huge chunk of the issue. A huge chunk of the issue is, you know, a lot of women are not approach worthy. Amen. Again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I I'm just being real. See, I'm saying what y'all won't say. Y'all want to be all politically correct and all of that. I I'm saying what y'all won't say. What y'all won't say. Look, ladies, another huge piece to why men are not approaching us is because you don't look like nothing to approach. Why would I pursue something that does not get me going in any way? Okay. That's the nicest way I can put it. So it don't matter that you are giving out choosing signals. It don't matter that, you know, you are looking to mingle and you're looking to, you know, get to know a guy. If you are not somebody, amen, that he would want to get to know just off of the look alone, appearance alone, like, yeah, he's not going to approach that. The same way when it comes to us women, we're not going to approach a guy that is obviously broken down, dusty, as y'all say, begging. You know, like we can see that on a man. We can see that he's not up to our liking. And so, therefore, just by the look, I'm probably not going to approach you. And we can be completely wrong, right? He could he could be a baller. But if he looks toe down, broke down, and dusty, nine times out of ten, hell, ten to eleven times out of ten, we're going to be like, no, nah, I'm not even going to approach that. Don't talk to me. Stay over there. Yeah, no. Well, the same thing can happen on the flip side when it comes to women. Yeah, she looks like she too heavy. Okay. She looks like she don't really take care of herself like that. Right. She looks like maybe she don't smell that good. All of these different factors can go into a man not approaching you. So it's not just the energy. It's not just the attitude. It's also the physicality of it all as well. But we don't want to be honest with each other to go there, but I'm going to do it for y'all. 
So ma'am, it's not just this instance of men not approaching you because, you know, they're so respectful or, you know, they just don't want to uh, shoot their shot at you for whatever reason. It could be because you're just not their type in more ways than one. Let's take it back and, and, and continue, y'all. And, and y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Y'all know your little big sister is giving y'all that real talk. All right? Like the video. Damn, Nessie, he fine over there. And I'm like, they're trying to make eye contact. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, put that. Damn. 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 What the fuck? They don't see us or not? Hello? You know, it just feels like nobody's even looking. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no I'm, am I honest? Am I being wrong? Uh, you're probably right. You're probably yeah, right. I'm right. I know I'm right. I've been here. I've been traveling here for a long time, okay? Um, And it's a great thing to have. And then in LA, it's like everyone's so aggressive where men are just like, damn, you fine. And this is like, no. But I think with me, I think I just carry that aura or God has this aura protect. He's he has his hand of protection over me where he's like, nope. Like he's literally I walk. God is like this. Tch, tch, like and they men do not approach me. I promise they don't. I don't know what it is. But at this point in my life, I am over 30 years old. And so now it's like, dang. And my dad and my mom are like, when are you going to settle down? I have kids now. Now I'm having those conversations. Yeah. But yeah, it's just not my time. We now, again, y'all like the video. I want to I wanna take it back. Okay. This poor baby don't understand that the men are not approaching her because maybe she has some work to do, you know, aesthetically. Because I, I'm going to be honest, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. And I'm not saying that men don't like, you know, women that are on the heavier side. However, I'm pretty sure the men that she's checking for, let's be honest, when it comes to a lot of women of today, we're checking for the men that are fine as hell, that got money, you know what I mean, that are successful, that, you know, are attractive, that have a lot of options and opportunities. Like, we want that guy, right? The man that's in shape, that got the muscles. Like, we, we like that. Okay? So, when it comes to the type of guys that we as women would be looking for, they're not, a lot of the times, going to be checking for a woman that physically is not in shape. You know what I mean? That is not really taking care of herself on the visual aspect. And that's not to be shallow. That is not to be mean or anything of that sort. That is just being honest. Okay. That is just being completely honest. Men are looking for as close to the complete and full package as possible. You know, and image, right? What we see appearance wise is one of the first things that we realize and recognize about a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she's cute. She has a nice shape. She's in shape. You know, she seems to be somebody that takes good, good care of herself. I want that, you know? And so you pursue that based upon the initial thing, which is the physical. Then when you talk to that person, you get to figure out, you know, what they are about mentally, emotionally, energetically. But the first thing that will reel somebody in to make them want to approach you and, and talk to you and all of that is what you look like. And just to be honest, a lot of men are not approaching us based upon what we look like. And again, it's not to be mean. That's to be honest with you so that we can make the proper changes and adjustments. But what we cannot do as women is be out here just blind and oblivious and delusional, thinking that we the baddest chicks and, you know, we're not. And then complaining that men don't approach us. Not only do we complain that men in general don't approach us, but then we go as far as talking about the quote unquote high value men, the men that are attractive, the men that got it like that, the men that, you know, we would actually want to be with. We complain that they don't want us. Of course they wouldn't want us. What we got to start asking ourselves, what do we have? Right. 
that that type of man would want. We have to start trying to be complementary to the type of men that we would want to be with. Once you visualize that ideal man in your mind, then you have to go back and ask yourself, okay, what type of woman would that type of ideal man want to be with? And if that is not you, ma'am, you got work to do. That's just as honest as I can get it. I'm trying to be nice. Again, I'm not trying to be rude, disrespectful, mean, nothing. But y'all are in such disbelief due to a lot of these chicks out here programming y'all to really feel like, you know, you're perfect and you're the prize and you're the best that you cannot self-reflect and really be honest with yourself to realize, oh, it's me. I, I'm why men don't approach me. It's not that these men are just, you know, shy or there's some creeps or there are incels or, you know, it's not that. Maybe my energy is off. Maybe my physical is off. Maybe my mentality is off. You know, maybe it's me. We never go that far. Instead, we just complain and point the blame. And I'm telling y'all right now, it's so many different factors that are going to or going into rather men not approaching us and it's not what y'all think it is a lot of y'all think men are not approaching you because you're just you know being protected by god or you know because you know they're intimidated by you or whatever the case may be and sure that could be an instance you know to where a man may feel like oh she's out of my league that happens but for the majority of what we're seeing out here that's not the case First things first, y'all have created an, a, a very uncomfortable environment for men to approach you, right? By saying, oh, me too, and oh, he's harassing me, and all this and all that. So men are just like, you know what? To avoid all problems and issues, let me just stay over here and mind my business. If she wants me, she can, you know, come up to me. You got that going on? Like the first lady we just showed, you know, her energy is bad and bougie. I'm the prize. Very conceited, very arrogant. Men don't want to deal with that. And then with this right here, ma'am, you just not hitting on what you need to hit on. Okay. But let's let her go again and, and break it down. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let, let, let me ask y'all this before we continue. Can y'all put a two in the chat? If so far you are following your little big sis, put a two in the chat and then put a one in the chat. If it's like, nah, you off, you off base with this, Danica. No, that's not it. You're being cruel. You're being mean. But I, I really am being as honest and open as I possibly can. Okay. But so y'all let me know. Put a two if you're like, nah, you 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 dead on the money. You spot on because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So y'all let me know if I'm right or wrong and we're going to continue. Okay. But in the meantime, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> I'm open for correction. Y'all, I, I could be wrong. Maybe y'all like, oh, hell no, nah, Danica, you, no, nah, you off. I don't think that I am, but maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let us know. Like, damn, that's he fine over there. And I'm like, they're trying to make eye contact. Like, <laughs> you over there? You over there? Yeah. 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 What the fuck? They don't see us or not? Hello? You know, it just feels like nobody's even looking. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm, am I honest? Am I being wrong? Uh, you probably, you're probably yeah, wrong. Yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right. I've been here. I've been traveling here for a long time, okay? Um, and it's a great thing to have. And then in LA, it's like everyone's so aggressive where men are just like, damn, you fine. It's and this is like, no. But I think with me, I think I just carry that aura or God has this aura protect. He's He has his hand of protection over me. Where he no. Okay. It's not that you carry this aura. It's not that God has his protection and I'm not saying the guy's not protecting you. Whatever you believe in. Okay, that's that's cool. But it's not the aura, man. It's the aesthetic. It's the look. It's the physicality of it all. You're carrying a lot of extra. And I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want to get too nitty gritty and knee deep into it. Because, again, I'm not trying to be rude or mean at all. I'm just being honest. Okay. That's why men that you want to be with are not approaching you. 
It's not your aura that you're carrying. It's the extra weight. It's the extra a lot. Okay. And, and not even just her, but you know, it's the extra attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so much more that is going into men not approaching us. And I feel like we're being very dishonest with ourselves and it's causing us to not progress and move forward. It's causing us to be stuck and stagnant because we're not putting our, our finger on the pulse of the real issue. The real issue is our attitude, our mentality, our personality, our physicality. That's why men are not approaching us. <sighs> like the video. He's like, nope. Like he's literally, I walk, God is like this. Tsh, tsh, like, and they, men do not approach me. I promise they don't. I don't know what it is, but at this point in my life, I am over 30 years old. And so now it's like, dang. And my dad and my mom are like, when are you going to settle down? I have kids now. Now I'm having those conversations. Yeah. But yeah, it's just not my time. We now, so any, hold on. We're going to get into her. Now, another level and layer to this conversation as far as why men are not approaching. Okay, like I said, it's so many different levels and layers to this. But another level and layer to the conversation is the fact that you have women out there purposefully blocking their blessings. Okay. Let's get into it. Because she is a prime example of a woman, a beautiful woman at that. She's a very attractive woman, blocking her blessings, getting in her own way. Why? Because she has a chip on her shoulder due to her dealing with a certain caliber or type of male. Let's go there for a second. A lot of us are so accustomed to entertaining guys that are not up to par. Maybe he's cute, but his mentality is off. He doesn't know what it's like to actually be a man of means, be a man of masculinity, be a man of authenticity, of integrity. He, he doesn't know what that is, but maybe he looks good. And so we entertain those guys. And before you know it, you become very jaded. And now every man that ever walks up to you or approaches you, you don't want nothing to do with him. It's like, look, ma'am, I'm not him. So, ladies, a lot of the times why men are not approaching you is because of what you are intentionally doing to block those men. And I feel sorry for y'all because y'all have no idea the blessings that y'all could be potentially missing out on uh, because you have it in your mind. All men are trash. No. Emphatically, no. The men that y'all like to entertain are trash. That's another level and led to the conversation. Let's get into it. Like the video. So anytime I'm talking to like a new guy, I would say for the past maybe like five, six years, majority of the time they always ask me why I'm single. They can't believe I'm single. They think men are out here approaching me left, right, and center. Let me tell you, like I told them, men do not approach me okay it's very rare that a man out in public out in the world will see me i don't care how good i look that day i don't care how good i smell i don't care about none of that they're not walking up to me and that's because my demeanor says i'm good i don't come off as friendly i don't come off as approachable i don't come off inviting and that's very intentional because you're not going to come over here and waste my time. You're not going to come over here and play with me, baby. Like, I'm not the one. And I make it be known before you even open your mouth, before you even fix your legs to come walk over into my space and start exchanging words with me. And I like that. And I'm going to keep it that way. That is the saddest ish I have ever heard. That is sad. So she is intentionally pushing men away, not being approachable. Like she's intentionally doing this. And again, this stems from a woman that has not done the self work, not taken responsibility and accountability for the guys that she has allowed into her life. And now she's punishing all men 
due to her own poor choices in men. And that's sad. That's trash. But honestly, I'm going to say this. When it comes to women like her, right? As beautiful as she is, right? When it comes to women like her, she actually is doing the men a favor by putting up that wall and putting up those guards and pushing them away. Why am I saying that? Well, I'm saying that because women like her will make a man's life a living hell and make him pun will punish him, right? Make him pay for all of the faults and flaws of all of the other men that ever did her wrong. So in this instance, it's probably a good thing that she is repelling men away and men are not approaching her because again, if, if a man actively pursued her, she is so damaged internally that she would hold you accountable for what Jamal did to her, what Craig did to her, what Jimmy and Jeremy did. Like she is that chick. So it's a good thing. You know, a lot of these women uh, rejecting you, it ends up being a blessing in disguise because honestly, she would be a, a complete headache. For real. You know, so this is what we're dealing with, ladies. A lot of y'all are also blocking your own blessings. Y'all are also uh, preventing men from approaching you for whatever silly reason. Because maybe you didn't do your own internal work and do your own self-reflecting on yourself to figure out what's going on with you. Whatever the case. That's also a level and level to the conversation as far as men not approaching you. You don't allow, uh, uh, allow a man that is probably a good man at that to approach you and show you something differently in the first place. And even if he is a good man that's approaching you, because you're so jaded and your mind is already so you know mixed up and jumbled, you automatically just write that guy off as, you know, oh, he's just like the other guys. You'll find something wrong with those good men to validate your stance, to validate you being somebody that is, let's just be honest, a pitch, okay? A high pitch, you're, you're heavy on the high pitch is what I'm, uh, we gonna we go say that, all right? And y'all know we gotta watch out for you too. I ain't say the B word. I said pitch. Don't do that. Like how you pitch a ball. Yeah. Pitch as a, a tone. Yeah. So, yeah, that's also a reason why a lot of men don't approach. It's so many different levels and layers. But what I really want to hone in on is the fact that all of these different elements and all of these different factors that go into men not approaching us is by our own doing. We keep messing up. Why? Because we don't want to take accountability. We don't want to do self-reflecting. We don't want to figure out what is it that I can do for myself to maybe make myself more approachable. That's why men are not approaching us. It's a new time, a new day and age, a new breed. And this new breed stem from us and what we have been doing to these men for all these years. Anyway. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, actually, I did put in the beginning of this dope discussion, I put up a poll and I look forward to seeing what you all have put in that poll. I want to know, uh, are you approaching women today? I would love to know. I can't wait to see what you all say uh, in that poll that I put up. But I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And much love and peace to my crown heads. And remember, ladies, the men are not approaching you because of you. Peace.